This is the most spaghetti rats thing you'll see on YouTube, by the way. This is getting worse and worse. I don't know what I'm doing. I lost count. I can't even count anymore. God, I made it so difficult for myself. Hello everyone, it's me, it's Johnny, and welcome back to another episode of SMP Video. Oh boy, has it been a while, hasn't it? Well, I can safely say that I've been very busy. Uh, both on the server, but also not on the server, because my school has started again, and that's also got me quite busy, which means that I'm not that busy on the server, but I've just been busy anyway, either way. And yes, right behind you, is my latest farm. Well, that's not even true. I made another farm. It is my biggest latest farm. Can you guess what it is? The Prismarine will give it away, as well as the entire time lapse. Sure, that's great. He's doing end stuff. Good for him. Well, I have made a little guardian farm over here. Well, not little, it's actually quite big. Uh, oh, I did not place these chests here, but. Whoever did that, which I think is Labda, thank you. Yes, I've made a nice... Thank you. I've made a nice guardian farm over here. Um, That's about it. I just kind of wanted to do a grindy project. Sometimes I just kind of get the feeling like, hey, I want to grind out some big thing that I'm never really going to use a lot. Ow. Two. He killed two dragons. This guy is crazy. But yes, I made this little farm because it was honestly one of the last farms that I really wanted to make. The only real two things I can think of is making a bamboo farm and maybe, very maybe, like a wither skull farm, but that's about it. I was gonna make actually a squid farm, but then Labda beat me to the punch. And since we're conglomerate bros, I think I can probably take some, I don't know. Either way, this is a big farm, but that's not all that I've been up to. Oh, there's some friends in here. Yes, <laughs> I've also made some decorations here, over here at my nether portal, which is now the public restrooms. <laughs> I was gonna make like an old abandoned tower type thing for my, for my nether portal. But then I was like, no, I'm gonna make public restrooms. I'm also gonna turn my subtitles off because it is kind of annoying. Where do I do this? There. Boom. You don't need subtitles, unless you do, in which case I am very sorry. But yeah, this is essentially the idea behind it. There's two restrooms. One of them has a restroom. The other one has a portal to hell, as it should. And then I also made uh, this, which is, you know, slightly bigger. Took me slightly longer to make. And this is where our sugarcane farm used to be, or well, still is. It's just in there now. It is absolutely filled to the brim with sugar, which is great. And I actually put a lot of time into making this. Um, you have like three different block palettes that are all slowly morphing into each other in like a gradient. So it becomes darker and darker. But since it's such a big building and I didn't want to do like overly decorative stuff like this nice church, I decided that the block palette needed to be more interesting. And so we have this very, very interesting gradient here. But that doesn't mean that it is just this. Let's go around the side. Oh my god! Can I turn that down? Can I turn it? I can. We're gonna turn it down, because I think he's gonna do another one. <laughs> Alright, well, so to the side over here, there is a lot of... <laughs> Come on! These guys are not letting me record at all. 
A little too bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's karma to you, buddy. That's karma to you. Oh, that's what you get for ruining my video. All right, third take. This is the side of the building. Um, essentially, it's just here because there's a nice basement, which is completely flooded because one of the pipes broke. I didn't have any other ideas for the side, but I really like this. I want to have more of this, where it's like, it's out of the way, but you can still get to it, and you can just explore it and find it yourself. If you're walking around here, you can just find this, and you're going to be like, wow, that's nice attention to detail. Well done, as Johnny. And that's essentially what I want the entirety of Scavenger City to be. It's going to be massive project. I should probably work on it even more, but it's a good start. And then here you have all the leaves, because this really needs to be trimmed. In fact, I made a fake to-do list board. And the only thing is, should the East Wall of Sugar Heights, which is the name of this building. Then on the other side, we have an even bigger vegetation problem with a massive tree sticking out of it. Which is something that you're probably going to be seeing a lot. Because when in doubt, make a big tree. It works very well within the style. And at the back, it's kind of similar to the front. But you might have seen it if you're a keen eye viewer that there's a little ladder going up. Does this mean that there's stuff at the top? Yes, dear viewer, it is. Look, here at the top we have some overgrown, like, ventilation things. And a nice little staircase down to what was once a nice apartment. It also has a hole. Okay, last one. But obviously, there's just a sugarcane farm down here. I could actually make another layer higher, but I don't think it's necessary. The sugarcane farm is doing great. And that's it. I've not done anything else on the server of note, really. Even though there's quite a lot of things that I should be doing. There's like three different projects that I need to do. So let's go list them all, shall we? First of all, and this is going to be the big one. Um, I've been talking with Labda, and Labda has been talking with a lot of people about the biggest project the conglomerate's gonna do which is gonna be a massive train network all around the server because you know Labda, he really likes his trains and he's gonna make like a massive train station over at his base and you know one of the reasons why the conglomerate even became a thing is because both me and Labda were gonna make some big train stations i i don't have my train station yet I mean, it is going to be over there in this big patch of land. I have the space for it cut out, but I have not started building it at all. And Lab is kind of impressing me to, to do that because, you know, it's like the big project we're going to do. Also, I should sleep. Thing two is that I just need to AFK more at my gold farm. Noted, I will do that. And thing three, we kind of need to go to the nether for that. There has been a little problem with the nether on the server. Uh, the nether tunnels suck. So Labda has took it upon himself to do something. This little something is create a massive box that is completely spawn proofed just so we can not use it as a nether hub. That is right, you heard me right. When I heard that he was building this box, I was like, oh, that's great. That That's gonna be for the final hub, right? He said no. He said no, he wanted to do something different for the final hub. This man did all of this for a temporary hub. And I was like, no, I'm not having that. I'm not gonna make another temporary tunnel system when we could be focusing all this energy that he has clearly put into it, into this big box, into making an actual nether hub. And then he was like, all right, well, I have an idea for the actual nether hub. Oh, that's great, Lada. What is the idea for the actual nether hub? Uh, it's making a disc that's like 250 blocks in diameter. Sure, we're doing that. I actually volunteered to do make that disc, and now they've actually been doing most of it without me. Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. I am so happy that he's done with that. I can see where he got all the gas tears from, to be honest. Because this is it. This is the massive, the massive circle that we have right here. It's almost filled in. I was supposed to do most of it. I volunteered to do most of it. I did like... A quarter of this quarter in total. I was on for like half an hour last night doing some stuff. And I was like, today, I was busy, couldn't do much. And now they've basically done everything without me. Oh my lordy lord. Die. 
Now you might be wondering, yes Johnny, which one of these three big projects are you going to be doing? Are you going to be doing the train station? Are you going to be AFKing? Or are you going to be doing the circle? Two of those three are very boring for content. So you're probably going to be working on a train station, right? I have a fourth thing that I could do. And it's only because I'm slightly inconvenienced about it. Remember that sugar game farm I just showed you and how it's full? All my sugar chain chests are full. All my sugar cane chests, they're all completely filled. I have like four double chests of sugar cane and I need to get rid of it. Ow. The man is right here. I am doing an incoherent rambling speech. You go get him. Go get him. Go get him for me. We're getting sniped from two places. You know how you do this? You do it like this. I need to get rid of all my sugarcane. And what's the best way to do that? Aside from just making a few extra chests, we're gonna make a shop. That's it. We're gonna make a shop today. That's the episode. I hope you enjoy it. I am being watched by a deranged man. He is looking at me. I am scared. <laughs> no. No. Come back here. Come back here, you. Come back here, you. You're ruining my video. You are ruining my video. Okay, he's gone. All right, we need to decide a little place for our shop. What is that? I have not seen this yet. Who did this? And what does it say? It's a doggy dog world out there. It's... the uh, Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know, I'm not gonna ask any questions. Whoever did that, sure, buddy. I thought it would be fun to do some life building, because I never really do this. And this is going to be like a quick one, I think. And I kind of get to talk to you guys about what my plans are. And these little holes that we're going to make now. It will all make sense later, children. It is fine. You do not need to worry about my genius, because I am fantastic. I think you may or may not already know based on this configuration. Look at that. Ooh, I did not think about that it was gonna be dark. In my head it was gonna be a lot brighter. I actually don't think that's bad though. That might actually be better having some darker sugar cane. Okay, well this is gonna be sugar cane. It's gonna grow and become three tall. But we're also gonna have bamboo here, which is also gonna grow. And we're going to have a little bit of a living wall, literally, because the walls are going to be made out of bamboo and sugarcane. I told you I was going, going to go absolutely off the hook. All right, I am going to need so much more bamboo than I thought. We're going to have to strip these, but like, I forgot that this is essentially just building with logs. I might have to harvest some of the wall bamboo yep i am out again oh no that's not good i mean i'm almost out i need like seven more but that's still a lot of bamboo and if i didn't cut all of them down because i ran out of bamboo this would have looked pretty cool already right can you kind of see the vibes already i don't know if you can maybe you are blind in case you are uh, i am so sorry that you cannot really watch this video very well Okay, well, I did run out of sandstone a little bit, so we're gonna have to leave it at that for now for the roof. But it's basically gonna be this design the whole way through. The inside's done, the outside, not so much. But it's basically gonna look like this. And well, that is the basics for this shop going to be. You're gonna have walls made out of both sugarcane. We're actually gonna grow this up a bit, because it can go to three high. And I'm just too lazy to wait. So I'm just going to walk it up there. And you're going to have a nice little living wall. I mean, you can walk through it, of course. So it's not a very good wall. But it's aesthetically somewhat pleasing, you know? It is sort of nice to look at. You're going to think, man, that's just kind of neat when you're walking in here. At least that's the, the effect that we're going for here. Okay, I'll just wait for the rest to grow by itself, as I'm sure it will. Now... When I made this shop, um, I started out with the name for it first, which is kind of weird, because usually you don't do that when you make a shop. But I was like, okay, we're selling sweet stuff. We're selling honey, we're selling sugarcane. What is it going to be called? And I thought, hey, the sweet spot is a nice name. Like, Let's go to the sweet spot, everybody. But then I was like, well, the sweet spot obviously also means something else. Uh, 
like a, the middle of a target. The middle of a target, you say? The middle of a of a of a target block? That's also the sweet spot right there. What if I make a, a little mini game uh, to the side? So you have a shop, but you also have a shooting range where if you hit the bullseye, you're gonna get like a reward, get like some 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 sugar cane or something like that. That was essentially the idea, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do right now. I have not made the circuit yet. I do have an idea of what the server circuit could be. But I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna figure it out together. I am not good at redstone. Is this how you do it? I don't know. I am so bad at redstone. This is the most spaghetti redstone you'll see on YouTube, by the way. This should, in theory, extend the bulls a bit longer, right? This is probably... People in 2012 are embarrassed at this. When in doubt, just make more repeaters. That's what my that's what my grandpa always told me. The academics call me crazy. This is getting worse and worse. I don't know what I'm doing. Save me from myself. It's like 12 a.m. Right, so what I'm gathering is I should probably just build a hopper. Well, it worked a second ago. I swear. I don't know why it's not working at the moment. I mean, I know how hopper clocks work. At least I thought I did. But now I'm questioning everything. What am I doing wrong here? It's definitely X extending the pulse. The problem is, it extends it infinitely. That should be it, right? I lost count. I can't even count anymore. Wait, why are you activated? What happened? Why did you activate? God, I made it so difficult for myself. Why can't I not do redstone? Oh, I thought, oh, good ideas, Johnny. Make a simple redstone circuit on camera. It'll be fine. It won't take you. How long have I recording? Oh, that's great. I've been going for one and a half hours. That's great. That's really what I needed to boost my morale. Oh, so stupid. Okay, I took some time off. I've had a good night's sleep. And I have finished this job. The sweet spot. That was a terrible take. I'm not doing it again. I don't care. I made a little pathway up to it. Uh, with a little bit of a trick, uh, I know for the trick for such a long time, but if you have stairs, uh, sandstone stairs, and you put them upside down, you get, like, the sandstone texture at the top, which really mixes well with, like, all the other smooth sandstone stuff. Uh, not open yet, bro. It is open, bro. So, boom. Here we are. This is the sweet spot. Um, uh, some things at the front still need to grow, but aside from that, it is fully complete. Don't look at my inventory. I have too many arrows. Alright, so here you have the honeycomb. I don't know what this is. I am being artsy. I am an art student. As you can see, 16 for one diamond. I think that's fair because my honey farm is very slow. And as far as I am aware, I'm the only person on the server with a honey farm. Is there another pillager? Oh my god, this is the third time that I've been raided. We're gonna ignore those guys for now. But yeah, I have more honeycomb, so their blocks are 32 for a diamond. And then there's the sherry cane, which I have so much of. That is the only reason why I even made this shop in the first place. So that's all filled up. Um, and over here we have a little book. Welcome to the sweet spot minigame. Real so simple. Simply hit the target right in the center. Okay, the sweet spot. In order to win some sugar cane. However, you can only use the bow and arrow provided uh, and you get 10 shots for one diamond essentially as it says right here the target block is like up there and if you hit it it travels all the way down and if you hit the maximum amount um it gets sent to these repeaters these repeaters will this repeater will push this hopper clock and then this is configured in such a way that when it reaches the end it will push this back again uh and then the hop clock will stop, and you will get exactly 32, uh, sugar cane. I think that's what needs to happen. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that jump scared the hell out of me, dude. Okay, well, time to get the flint and steel out, because we're gonna have to kill these guys. But we can't kill the main guy, So then we get bad omen. You are making this so difficult. Anyway, I think lab this on, so we might, uh, might, might, might tell them. Hey, let's open and see what happens. Ooh, there he is. He's muted. 
He has muted himself. Hello. He is still muted. <laughs> okay. Well, we're not going to be able to talk to him. Because he's muted like an idiot. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I was like, you saw you coming. I was like, oh, he's muted himself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, then you started talking a lot. I was like, oh. Alright, bro. Do you, well, do you want to just have like... Looks cool. Do you want to just have like a free Ted shots? Does it do like a ding when I hit it right in the middle? Oh, I should have done that. No, it doesn't. I can add that, actually. Oh! oh. You got it. That's all all right. Okay, my, my game is balanced well. I think because you need th Sick. if you hit three shots, then only yeah. you make a profit over just buying it. <laughs> oh yeah. Because now you just got. Oh true, yeah. The only reason why this shop has a mini game because I thought of the name the sweet spot and then I was like, this needs to be a mini game. What? It just sounds dirty. No. I'm gonna go. No. <laughs> God damn it. He has to ruin everything. This is just a nice little sweet store. And he comes in here and he ruins it for everyone. I swear, if I hear anyone in the comments say that it sounds dirty, I am going to be very mad. So don't do it. Don't comment on this video. Don't give me viewer engagement. Is this is this subversive psychology working? I don't know. Anyway, that's all all for me for today um i really hope you enjoyed this uh slower episode and i think in the next episode we are uh, going to be making the train station finally or at least starting with it so if you don't want to miss that maybe you know, you know subscribe to the channel stay updated and also i am trying to reach 200 subs so if you would like to subscribe anyway that'd be very nice and also like the video because again i need viewer engagement i need it so bad